Eric Mwadeth, Mwadeth.com. Let's continue on here with our analysis on WTB. Remember, this could be any stock that you are looking at. I'm just using this stock so we can see how all this information one can find readily available on the charts, even though, quite frankly, sometimes we don't see this until we learn that there are some aspects that are available for us to use. So in this one, I want to take a look at the MACDs. And in the description, I'm going to have a link to my MACD playlist. And here I'm going to be discussing and you're going to see lots of discussions on MACD use. So if you want more information, take a look at that playlist. So let's go to the chart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the RSI for now. So give me a second. All right. So here are the MACDs. So what we're going to do is try and keep it simple. Let's go to the lows. For example, this low here in the MACD that corresponds with this price lows in 05. And after the lows here, of course, we see the stock would go higher. We can see clearly there is uniform activity, double bottom support as the stock was trying to move below MACD zero and held. Remember, that is one of the things we look for when we are using the MACD. Also, keep in mind the other default MACD had nice action, did not go below zero. So the lows were consistent with our analysis that once a stock shows that it is holding, especially with uniform activity, the zero line of the MACD, or that it does not cross over below zero, that tends to be a good signal. Keep in mind, and remember, keep in mind that in my MACD series, I talk about the best type of crossover for the MACD is when it is above the zero line. Right, that's one of the things that we study in that MACD series. So above MACD zero line is more relevant for crossovers. And we can see here there was a crossover above zero, which is this period here. And of course, the stock did respond with a nice move to the upside. Next, let's take a look at these lows here. And we can see here that there was an attempt to cross over below zero here. Oh, by the way, let me not forget here that there was a MACD trend line break here. And movement below zero corresponded with this price action here. We discussed this in prior videos in this series. So that was good enough to start this slide. So now let's take a look at the lows in late 08, early 09. And what we see here is there was an attempt to cross over below zero that was not successful. It goes down again. So we know that we take that hump and that hump or the failure to cross over here. Once we come and take out that level, in other words, once we clear this previous failed crossover, we know that the next crossover which is here is more reliable that corresponds with this movement somewhere here now keep in mind also visually that this is more like uniform action below zero and back above it so once we go back above the zero line we know that that is a meaningful signal and that this is an entry level now of course you want to combine this with other factors other time frames but but just by using the MACD itself, we know that uniform action below zero and back above it is good action, just like uniform action above zero and back below it is a good sell signal. Also, take a look at the default MACD. You can see here uniform activity below zero and then back above it. So the re-entry back above it here is reliable and that corresponds with this entry here and of course the momentum kept the stock moving over the next couple of years. Now we can also see here uniform activity looks like double bottom support At the, as the stock was trying to move below zero it held support with uniform action here and again here and that corresponds with this entry here during the lows of 2011. Take a look at what the default MACD was doing 
there was a crossover and again a crossover above the zero line is more reliable when looking for instruments that should bounce so here we see a crossover above zero that's a reliable signal and of course you want to combine this with other factors but here the MACD is giving us those signals during the highs and the lows now let's take a look at the coming off the highs here what happened just by using the MACD and we can see a major trend line break so this line pretty much connects the lows here here this lows close to this one and then there was an attempt there that once it broke below that you can see that that corresponds with coming off the highs sometime in the middle of 2015 somewhere here and since then of course the stock's been lower and also we can see that corresponds with the default and the main MACD showing a major primary trend line break so because this is a primary trend line break that connects the lows on the MACD connects the lows there once we break through here keep in mind that corresponded with the previous line this break in the MACD also once we break here and break here you can see that the stock did come off the highs and has been trading lower since so crossovers took place here of the break of the trend lines and of course we go into a drop after that also don't forget that there was an attempt to cross over here that failed again here was another failed crossover in other words this lows here once we break those lows also that tends to be suggesting that now the MACD has lost its momentum so also don't forget that that is also true just like we saw during this period here once it cleared the previous failed crossover that was a more reliable entry and so we can see here the same type of thing this was an attempt to go lower attempt to go lower that held finally we break below that that's a meaningful sell signal that also corresponds with this failed crossover here a failed crossover now you use that line draw a line there because should it clear that failed crossover the next time it does clear that line it tends to be reliable as a crossover and we can see that was true because it corresponds with the highs of 2015 this highs here before the eventual drop and again you can get more examples and a detailed look into this discussion by taking a look at the link in the description that goes into more details eric mother with mother.com as always good luck peace and blessings e i see s Mwah. Woo.